Water and sediment control basins are constructed along slopes where gullies may form. This practice forms a sediment trap and a water detention basin with a stable outlet. These basins will detain water for a short amount of time following a heavy rainfall. Water and sediment control basins help improve water quality by trapping sediment, preventing it from reaching downstream water bodies. These structures reduce gully erosion by controlling water flow within a drainage area. Grass cover on this practice provides habitat for wildlife. As water is detained, it slowly releases through the intake after sediment has settled. The area draining into the basin must not exceed 50 acres for the practice to work effectively. NRCS designs water and sediment control basins to control runoff from a 10-year storm without overtopping. Outlets are installed to convey water to a point where it will not cause damage. Spacing for water and sediment control basins depends on land slope, tillage, and management system. Water and sediment control basins are similar to terraces, so sometimes it's hard to know when to use which practice. Terraces work best on uniform slopes, farmed on the contour, while water and sediment control basins are used on flatter fields with irregular topography where contour practices will be difficult to implement. The second main distinction deals with size. While terraces generally extend all the way to field edges following the contour, basins are just long enough to bridge an area of concentrated flow, which can cause gully erosion. For more information about conservation practices in Iowa, go to the Iowa NRCS website or your local NRCS office.